Hey, great people of YouTube. How's it going? It's been a while. Hope everyone's doing pretty good out there. I've been kind of busy out here in Illinois trying to keep caught up with things and trying to... Well, YouTube is one of them that I haven't been really looking at too much of. Uh, haven't been really watching any of you guys' videos or anything. Not that I don't like you guys. It's just I haven't had a lot of time to do stuff. So right now I'm in the shop. Uh, I'm going to be going outside and starting to do a little bit of work around the yard. <coughs> Excuse me. Summer is gone and uh, fall is going to be hitting. The weather is starting to get really unpredictable as far as warm, cold, rain, and everything but snow. Trying to get rid of all the plants that don't come back next year and, you know, just try to keep up on things. And then kids back in school. It's been a couple months now. Um, what else? Oh, I've been, instead of playing guitar and practicing and stuff like that, I've been being playing computer tech. And uh, I picked up something. Uh, I was working on a budget as far as a uh, laptop goes and doing a bunch of upgrades on that. And I'm going to get rid of a, another piece of shit computer over here, this HP All in Wonder that I picked up uh, a while back that really there's not much you can do with it. I am going to crack it open and see what makes it tick and see if there's anything that's inside that's upgradable. If there is, I might be able to squeak a little bit more horsepower out of it. Don't know. But for now, let's take a look at what I've been doing over here as far as computer-wise goes. All right, so what you're looking at here is another Dell Precision computer, laptop. And as you can see, you know, there's a little ding right here with a scratch. And overall, it's in pretty damn good shape considering what I paid for this. Um, I bought this off of eBay, $325. The guy wanted $350 for it or best offer. So I threw in my best offer. He refused it. And then he ended up, uh, you know, telling me what he thought he can get for it and I told him what I thought I can get for it and we went back and forth and we both agreed on 325 now again I had pretty much of a $500 budget with this laptop and all the upgrades that I want to do to it problem with these Dell Precision laptops is that they're workhorses okay these are workstation laptops they were basically a company ended up uh, getting a shitload of these things they use them for CAD um, they're pretty decent laptops, but and they are upgradable. The only problem with these laptops is when you buy them online or on eBay, uh, you don't get a power supply with some of them. You don't get a battery. They're missing pieces. There's uh, cracked screens. Sometimes they'll sell like a lot of three or a lot of five of these things, and you can end up building one computer out of you know the lot. Uh, you're missing the hard drive caddies that. Uh, 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 there's two of them. There's, there's one for the main drive and then there's one for a second drive. You could be missing one or both. And basically, like I said, with the battery issue and the power supply that, uh, yeah, you don't get one. So you're going to end up spending more money on it. And these things go for some crazy amount of money. I mean, anywhere between a thousand to, uh, like I said, 350 or 325, what I paid for 325 for it. Shop around find decent or there are more dents and scratches on these things than you really really want that one there i spent 500 bucks on did a few upgrades to it and uh, that one's got a lot more dings in it than this one does that one also has a higher resolution screen than what this one has but again this is going to be used for basically my father for going online doing stuff and it will be a lot faster than that one now that one as you can see i basically have it set up back to factory when i first got it out of the box and uh it's been wiped and reinstalled that computer took all night to fucking do it. I started at 10 o'clock at night, and as you can see, that's where it's sitting now. It just finally finished doing what it was supposed to be doing. Computer's way too slow. It's a $300 Walmart special, HP all in wonder. Uh, served its purpose. It's really fucking slow. Gotta get rid of it. All right, so this computer here, I got a bunch of parts over here that I ended up uh, taking some I took out, some I replaced. Uh, so this computer came with a four gig, me four gig of memory 
It also had the i7 dual core processor inside of it, which uh, it was okay. I mean, it wasn't too bad, but I wanted to go a little bit faster. Plus, this processor wasn't letting me see the memory that I wanted to put inside this computer. I uh, picked up a few of the SSD drives. Um, what I put into the computer is what I'm adding to the price, not the extra SSD drives that I picked up. This is the hard drive that came out of the computer, and it's just a basic, you know, standard laptop hard drive. It's got the platters inside of it that spin and, you know, slows the computer down. So let's open this thing up. As you see, it's it's fairly in very, very good shape. I mean, the screen's not messed up, the keyboard's intact, not missing any keys, everything's there. And this is the Precision M6800. Now, like I said, this is an i7, and it's a dual core, or was a dual core. Now it's an i7 quad core, which is showing eight processors inside of here uh, on its one chip, eight processors. And it's a lot faster with the SSD drive that I install inside of here. And I upgraded it to 32 gigs of memory compared to the 4 gigs that was inside. Now, I could have done a video of basically stripping this thing apart and everything else. But there's a lot of videos out there that show how to do this. I didn't want to be another one of those. So, make sure... This is kind of important too. If you ever remove the processors or if you ever remove the uh, heat sinks that are on top of the processors, that you want to clean the processor or whatever the heat sink is on, get rid of all this thermal paste on there and you want to reapply new thermal paste before assembly. So let's see how fast this thing fires up now. This thing was very, very slow as far as firing up. Turn it on. Now, it's already connected with the Wi-Fi. Once AVAS turns on, which will be a little icon that pops up, which is my uh, uh, antivirus software, uh, this thing is a working, there it is. Now it's basically a working PC. So if I go to internet, I click on that, and it's basically going to pop up with internet. So there's really not too much installed inside of here as far as other programs. I did put OpenOffice on there because uh, this is Windows 10 Professional and uh, uh, you have to, I'm not too crazy about the, all the Windows shit. So OpenOffice works just as good. Um, let's see. All I got in here is OpenOffice, my brother's uh, utility for my printer. And that's about it. So... This computer now, so now this computer is still the Intel Core i7. It's the 48810MQ, which is quad core, 28, uh, 2.80 gigahertz at uh, memory for RAM is 32. So it's maxed out. I can't add any more to this. Um, device manager, I put the SSD drive, nothing is complaining about anything. Installing the SSD drive, uh, really was no problem, it's just plug it in. The only thing that I wanted to do is basically take all of the, I had to make the SSD drive bootable. So what I ended up doing is the old disk drive that was inside of here, was still inside the computer. This has had the operating system. This has got uh, uh, Windows 10 Pro or had Windows 10 Pro on it. And I needed to make a bootable disk drive or SSD drive. So I ghosted basically this hard drive onto the SSD drive and I'm able to basically have all the operating system and everything I needed. Didn't have to do any type of reinstalling of drivers or nothing else on this thing. And it's up and going so what i want to do is i'm going to need two hands to do this so i'm going to, you're going to be moving around with me select alt and delete brings you up to your choice for task manager and let's go to performance so this is the cpu 
And as I said, uh, it is logical processes are eight, cores are four, socket one, and memory is maxed out to 32 gigs. That's all this thing can take, which is not bad because, you know, this is not going to be a gaming PC. I don't have to worry about the video card not being able to handle, you know, video gaming or anything else. And this was basically a budget build. So CPU and everything has been replaced on this thing. And, well, I did it for under $500, but when I added the mouse to it, uh, that brought me back, that brought me to $500. So basically I picked up the SSD drives for like 40 bucks each. Okay, brand new, in the box, not bad deal. The memory, I can't remember what I picked up for the memory for, uh, the 32 gigs that I installed inside of here. The CPU cost me 80 bucks, so that's the old one. I got the new one inside of here. Um, I bought the CPU used, but it was fully tested, and uh, yeah. So a CPU, like an... Um, uh, an i7 quad core could run you uh, brand new, like 200 and some odd dollars, depending on the seller. And uh, yeah, I wasn't about to go that route. So I picked up a used one. Works just fine. So now this one here basically is going to be, um, I'm going to end up cracking the back open on this thing, seeing what makes it tick. And if there's anything that could be upgradable on the, on the inside of this thing, as far as maybe CPU memory, um, hard drive or whatever if there's an ssd drive inside of it I, I don't remember the specs of this thing but it's a piece of crap and um like i said it served its purpose uh just needed something faster i got two of these kid plays with the other one and she really doesn't care about how fast it is as long as she can get on youtube and watch her gaming videos uh she's happy with that but this thing here a for what we needed to use it and going online paying bills doing whatever checking email uh that other computer was just a pain in the ass so i'm gonna go ahead and shut this thing down because i have to move shit around over here and basically when that hard drive light stops blinking and that's it all the lights are off now this does have the backlit keyboard that's kind of nice um the battery that it came with is not bad at all as far as holding a charge goes. Uh, I probably will be replacing that in the future. Oh, and I also replaced the uh, the battery for the, the BIOS battery or CMOS battery, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I replaced that with a new one, got rid of the old one that was inside because the seller wasn't sure of how good that battery still was too. So basically, you know, it's a, a pretty damn good working laptop. I like these laptops, these Dell Precisions. Uh, I do want to pick up a, another one of these again. Uh, they work out great for doing the music and, and streaming and, and everything else. Um, the only thing is, is they're not for gaming. Some of these laptops have a uh, internal uh, video cards where where they can, or in a video to where they're integrated on the motherboard. And some of these have a card that could be replaced. Now, this one here and that one there. Uh, they're both ATI um, Fire Pros, I think they're what they're called, or AMD Fire Pros, something like that. I can't remember which exactly one. This one has like two gigs in it, and I can't remember what that one has, but I think it's got uh, more than two gigs in it. So you get a choice from factory, either the uh, uh, AMD or you had the NVIDIA. NVIDIA had, uh, I think it was like eight gigs or something like that. Um but the benchmark is for scores as far as how the video cards uh, operate and, and perform and everything else. The AMD was better. Or AMD or ATI. I can't remember. Where. I think it's an AMD. It was better. So I left it inside of here and didn't sw swap it out. But, you know, I probably could swap out to a better video card and turn this thing into a gaming PC. Uh, but um, like I said, this one here, the resolution of this screen is not, uh, the same as that one. That one gets full HD and I can move it further than, uh, 1080. This one has like stopping point to it and, you know, we can't get any better than that. So all in all, there's a budget. My father's new laptop going to serve his purpose that he needs it for. 
faster than that one. I would probably take that one apart and video it. I'm not too sure if there is any upgrades inside that thing. I'm going to maybe document it a little bit and make a YouTube video of it. Just in case anybody else has one of these things that is kind of like dragging them down. Anyways, you guys, take it easy. Um, we're not supposed to get any rain today, and I need to get my ass outside and start doing some yard work uh, before the leaves start falling off the trees. Take care. Have a good one. I will catch up with everybody's videos uh, soon and start posting up more videos. I've been playing, instead of playing guitar I, or practicing, I've been playing computer tech. So have fun, y'all, and I will catch up with you later.